How's it going? Jasper from the MoCodes here. Uh, in today's video, let me quickly show you a TikTok warm-up automation tool I've built. <clears throat> so this tool is based on basically simulating um, a bunch of mouse actions. Uh, so once you project your screen of your phone onto your laptop, uh, we are going to run a, a bunch of uh, random actions to help you uh, do scrolling, liking, following, and bookmarking. Um, basically simulating a bunch of a sequence of actions to help you uh, warm up your account automatically so you don't have to be the one doing doom scrolling. So if you're trying to warm up one, one account, like doing the scrolling, doing all this action, for example, 30 minutes a day um, for five days, it's all right but it's very distracting, right? You can really easily get into gym scrolling. Um, and also, especially if you're trying to warm up a bunch of accounts, uh, it really adds up. It, it gets uh, very annoying. Um, that's what happened to me. So I decided to build a tool to help me do it. So, um, and also you don't have to use a phone mirroring or, or projecting your phone screen. Um, you can also have access, uh, as long as you have access to um, TikTok on the web, um, you can use the same automation tool to help you run the sequence of automation to help you help you warm up your account. Uh, the only caveat of these uh, solution is uh, you probably need to have two computers. I do have a spare laptop lying around, which is this one I'm currently using. Uh, so when I'm doing work on my main laptop, uh, I can still run this on the side because this is controlling the mouse cursor on your laptop. So you can't really run these and also do work at the same time. Uh, so that's the only caveat. But if you do have a spare laptop lying around somewhere, you can use that uh, pair up with your phone to run this automation um, to help you warm up account without you doing the hard work. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I have. Uh, I will share the entire code base. Um, you can either download this folder uh, of the code uh, from the link I provided is my Patreon link. Uh, you can download that uh, for free. Um, and there are a couple ways you can run it. First of all, you can run it from uh, the code. Uh, just simply run the Python code um, uh, like so. It will launch the app. But before you do that, you probably want to uh, if you're comfortable with uh, navigating around the code base, you want to do the read. Basically, you have a read of this readme file, um, and you have to install all the dependency, all the packages I've used in this app. Uh, if you don't want to mess around with uh, the, the, the code base of launching that from a command line, you can also use this dot command if you're using Mac or dot bat uh, file if you're using Windows. That basically runs through everything that you need and launches the app for you. Um, the only thing that before you start using this app, I need to share is uh, you have to go into privacy and security settings if you're using Mac. Um, and you have to go into accessibility to basically give terminal access. Uh, that's, uh, that's to make sure this app have control, uh, can have control over uh, the mouse cursor. So it can simulate, you can automate the mouse uh, actions. Um, and if you're using like an IDE, for example, cursor, uh, for example, I was using cursors terminal to run it. Um, you have to give cursor or any uh, IDE of your choice, the, uh, access, the permission. Um, and with that, once you have launched the app, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to record the actions, uh, like bookmark and follow, uh, the way you record, let me open up my TikTok. He went to the biggest thrift store in Osaka. So um, I have already recorded my uh, mouse location, but what you want to do is you place the screen somewhere on your, uh, on your laptop um, and then you record mouse click location and then you place it before the countdown finishes over the like button. And you do that for bookmark and follow as well. For swiping up and down, I've already configured that for you um, so you don't have to do anything. Um, and the only thing you want to do next is basically generate a sequence of actions. Now I have generated a sequence of random actions uh, that my I, uh, app would do. You can see that there are a lot of a lot more swiping up um, than the other actions. It is because I do have a weight 
uh, map. Um, no, map. Wait. Yeah, I do have a weight map, uh, which gives different um, gives uh, swiping up a lot more weight um, because I do want um, when I generate the sequence randomly, I do want more with swiping up than liking, than following, than bookmarking. You can mess around with uh, the distribution yourself. Uh, so this is the distribution I'm using, uh, which gives me more swiping up uh, than all the other actions. And once you have generated the, the, the sequence, uh, you can press start um, and let it run. So the first action is swiping up. The next action is swiping up. You can see that the, the action that's currently doing, it's going to be highlighted blue. Uh, and then the next action is going to be like. Uh, I think I recorded the the location a bit off, so it turned out to be follow. Um, but yeah, make sure you record the exact location. But yeah, it is running. Um, and basically the delay is also randomly generated. So sometimes it has a longer delay. You'll be watching the video a bit longer. Sometimes it's very fast. So uh, you, you're not watching the video. So that will keep running for probably uh, for me, it would be like 20 minutes. Uh, all the actions probably going to run for 20 minutes. Um, and then you can stop that anytime that you want, or you can simply close the app. Um, you can simply close the app. Oops. Yeah, close the app like so. Um, I guess another thing that um, when you use it is uh, you probably want to go into explore and then type in your keywords first and do a bunch of like scrolling from here first to kind of gives uh, the algorithm a bit of a sense of uh, the niche you want to be warming up for. Uh, otherwise, if you go straight into for you, um, it you might be just scrolling on a bunch of random content and because all the actions are randomly generated, it will send uh, a, a random signal to TikTok uh, when you're warming up. Maybe you're liking or following accounts that's not from the niche you want to be warming up for. Uh, so that's the only thing you want to be careful. Um, but this tool is a very simple idea. It's not like very sophisticated, very, very <laughs> technically um, uh, deep. It's basically automating the, the cursor actions to help me warm up the account. Um, and that's all there is. Um, and hopefully it's useful for people like me who are trying to warm up, warm up a lot of accounts so we can publish more content on TikTok as top of the funnel. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do You can do whatever with the code uh, as you will, modify it to your use case. Um, I just want to share these tool app build for myself. And my name is Jasper at No More Codes. Until next time, ciao.